paid Sunday. Uh, I still have Kat in the here. She's ready to go out this morning for sure. I've got to work on, oh well good morning, screaming. We still have snow, I should have got my sunglasses. We really thought a lot of it would be gone, like more would be gone yesterday. It was like 42, it's gonna be 47 today, but it's really thick. So just taking some time to melt, but there's obviously the concrete deck, the driveway are all melted. So we're gonna fill up some water this morning for these crazies. I did separate them now that it's not super cold. It's very muddy. I'm sorry. Good morning. I think they're fine. Let's put water in the pig bowl. Uh, they're doing great. This is just really muddy spot and I can't, um, so just helping the boys to not be as muddy, keeping the pigs out of their sub tub and the pigs kept dumping their water. So um, now that it's not so cold, there's no reason to like stress about having them all in one pen. I only put them all in one pen because it was last night but the night before it got down to like seven and that just helped them stay warm if they all wanted to sleep in the same house when it was snowing and all of that. But I've kind of figured, because the goat house is just so much more open, that they really do fine in the cold. It's probably better to let them have their own space and keep the pigs from getting so much of it muddy. They're really ready to get out. I think they're just like frustrated and I've left the gates open for the girls the last two days, but it's just been kind of a pain, honestly because it's not cold. Like I said, it was in the mid 40s yesterday, and but there's, they, there's nothing to graze. Yes. So they're going through the hay. Not as much as I thought they would, but definitely eating some. But they tipped the tartar feeder over yesterday. Like they completely flipped it over and it was full. So I don't really know what happened. I'm gonna rake all this out today so that they can lay outside since it's gonna be warm. There's no reason to worry about the bedding. Yes, you guys are enjoying the sunshine. You ready for breakfast? Let's have breakfast. quickly be about freezing this morning I am just gonna do normal buckets of water for them um, they're drinking a lot and I'm having to come out two or three times a day and fill up because they're all like hammering those sub tubs and the great thing about the sub tubs is not only are they getting lots of minerals and things but they drink more the pigs and the boys are fine but the girls with their eating 12 of them they can go through eight gallons of water a day and you know, four or five overnight. So I'm just gonna try to get two buckets out today because I think they'll be able to stay thawed instead of trying to just fill up one bucket all day. Are you guys ready for breakfast? So don't think the pigs will get out today. So even if I opened up their gate, I don't think they're gonna spend a ton of time out here until the snow is melted. So if this afternoon, if there's quite a bit of grass showing, we'll let them out. But the goat, they wanna get out. They are curious, they're tired of being cooped up. They have a little bit of cabin fever. So like I said, we're gonna rake out their barn and give them a nice hay area to just lay outside in. 
a lot like we did last year when we moved, when it quit snowing, we moved the tartar feeders outside and just covered the ground with hay to get them out. Hello! I didn't divide the food up very well this morning. I think pork chop got a little bit extra. That's okay, we'll fix it this evening. It's always an issue in the winter with the pigs when it's wet is they just absolutely kill the grass uh, and everything turns into like this big mud spot. But because they fertilize it so well and they turn the soil over, it grows back like even better. And they only end up with like one little dirt spot in the summer when we're in full grass. But that is why typically they're out here instead of being pinned up in a small spot. The goats won't tear the grass up. That's what's really great about goats is they don't rip the grass from the roots. Neither do pigs. They're not, these little guys are heavy so they also don't tear the ground up when it's muddy like a cow would. But what you have to be careful of is that weeds and things will grow back in its place. Bubba. Hawk over there? Who knows in this snow? All right, I'm gonna get in here and get to work. I'm gonna get him some water. I'm already hot. Getting this cleaned out. I'm just gonna pull the feeder out to like right here and cover all this with all the straw or the hay that's in here. Hello. And then hopefully that will give them like a dry space to lay down. Who's coughing? You get choked? Goodness. Goodness. Goodness, Elle.
it wasn't a ton and it's still pretty thick they will kind of push it down and kind of spread it out some more with walking i tried to bring most of it past the feeder because they will continue to waste hay out of that feeder throughout the day but now there's room for like most of them to get out here and lay down in the sun and not have to lay down on the snow and i think they'll like that just be able to get out a little bit you know probably better to push the feeder back inside just to keep the grouchy girls from being mean to anybody that's laying out here but i think what will happen is eventually they'll get full they'll take a nap and everybody will be able to kind of do what they want to do they're out i'm going to get the sub tub and i was going to get the sub tub and bring it out here i think i'm going to leave it in for today until all the snow melts because what I don't want is for somebody to be wanting to lay down outside because there is such limited space that has straw, has hay, waste hay on it, and then somebody get offended over the sub tub and push them. And, but this will give the barn opportunity to dry out. Because of the way we do our flooring, it's still really warm because all of our flooring is, all the dirt's actually poop. There's, there was no dirt brought in, just this is a gravel base. And so this is all just manure that has created this nice dirt base for them, which is nice. So it is very clean where it can dry out. The big thing with hay is that it doesn't drain. It will hold moisture. It's not straw. Straw will drain, won't hold moisture, will keep things dry and let everything drain through. Well, hay is not that way. And what I want to avoid, like it's really wet right in here because they like to sleep here and so you got to get that hay out so the floor can breathe if we did a deep bed straw base then the hay on top wouldn't be as much of a problem but because i can't get in here with my tractor and i would literally have to shovel out all the deep bedding that's just not how i choose to bed so we just will do straw let the waste hay collect and dump it out they are good. We're going to gymnastics this afternoon. It was supposed to be Friday night, but it got rescheduled because of the snow. So I'm gonna get in and work on editing video for Monday and Tuesday so that Jeremy's at work this morning. So it's a good thing for me to do while he's gone. Hello, precious boy. Y'all are so sticky from that sub tub. That's the only bad thing about them being trapped in here is that they're very sticky and they're not out eating grass and so they're not getting their faces washed off very well. Go pepperonis, you're very sticky. Nani, are you, st you are very sticky. Yeah, you are, you're very sticky. Have a nice day. Make good decisions. Be sweet to each other. Yeah, you need to be sweet. And you're like, I don't know what that means, Mom. But okay. Hello, Fluff Nugget. Hello. It smells like skunk out here. Mm-hmm. It smells stinky. This is a dinky smell. Uh, I know. <laughs> you good beer. These guys have been out laying in the sun all day long. As you can see, we got a good bit of melt today. My guess is they went out a little bit. Probably not a ton. The driveway's clear. It really does smell like a skunk out here. Put everything back on the solar today. It's still at 100%, which is awesome because it was running the bucket this morning. Things have beaten some of the hay. They have been, they've been out. I've been watching the camera on and off and the barn has been empty mostly all day. There's always been somebody in here eating sub tub, but other than that, uh, it's been empty. They have all been outside. Just enjoying getting out of the barn. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm pushing your dinner back as the sun stays out later. Mm-hmm. I'm aware. All right. So we'll see what hay you guys have eaten outside. I bet a lot, because you guys were outside yesterday. All right, we'll have dinner, calm down.
always some reshuffling when we move the feeders out. So Daisy will run to all of them to figure out which one has the most food in it, which is really funny. Oh, Daisy goat. Silly, silly. The boys have not really eaten a whole lot of hay the last couple of days. I don't really know. It may just be that I put so much in it. What I tried to do was, there was a bunch of hay that got wasted because Duke had like knocked it out and kind of laid on top of it. It's all clean. And I tried to kind of put that in the back of the feeder to push the fresh stuff forward so that they would eat on it. I haven't watched them really today. I can't see them as well out the window. They don't look hungry. They always look like this for dinner. Get out of the mud tent. These two knuckleheads, this is what they do every night at dinner, stand right here, which is one of the reasons it's so, so muddy. It's nothing I can really do about it. They weigh a lot. They are gonna muddy up the place. Hopefully it's supposed to be sunny next week. It'll just dry. The winter in Arkansas usually is pretty wet. We've actually had a really dry winter comparatively uh, two years past. Duke, you wanna go out, buddy? You wanna go play? I think he's just tired of being wet. All around, he's like, nope. It's dry, and stay right here. Let's have dinner, Piggle Wiggles. Piggle Wiggle dinner. Mom's gotta get you some water and a little bit of have a hay refill, but I think you guys will be ready to get out on pasture tomorrow. Yeah, night night my baby girls. <laughs>